So the fountain can't yield both water, fresh water, and salt water at the same time. The fountain can't do that. And so we discover a lot about what we say in different situations. And all of us have been in those situations. Don't take that like I'm pointing my finger at you. You can certainly point your finger at me. There are times that things happen that we want to just react to those things. And, and we speak out circumstances. But, but that few words that we say may shape the direction, whether positive or negative, in someone's life. I was telling the story today of a little girl that was just a real troublemaker in her Sunday school class. She was eight years old. She caused all kinds of trouble. They couldn't get her under control. And then she was killed in an auto accident with her mother and father. If the story, if I remember the story correctly, both her mother and father was involved in that accident. The next Sunday at Sunday school, her Sunday school teacher told this group of children seven and eight year olds God was angry at this little girl because she wouldn't behave herself in church so God let her be killed in a car accident and took her to hell what kind of a, a lasting impression does such a statement leave on a bunch of little children we treat God sometimes like our little Santa Claus song. Santa Claus has been watching whether you're good or bad. And, and if you're bad, God's not going to love you anymore. And we leave this impression on people that they'll never be good enough. They'll never fit up. They'll never be able to be Christians. And they throw their hands up and they give up. And they walk away from the church. The church corporately is in free fall right now numerically in the United States of America there's not a major denomination that is growing if I go out and it happened to me all of the time I went out to visit people and invite them to church and they would say oh I'll never come to church why not do you not like me as a pastor? Oh, we love you as a pastor, Mike. But we'll never come to church because years ago, so-and-so said this to us or about us or, or whatever, and we'll never go back again. I'm going to tell you something, my friends, and I'm going to close this week out making myself really, really unpopular. You're going to stand in front of Almighty God and explain those words out of your mouth that drove people away from him. And so will I. So will I.